Shit, buddy. Give me your soul. Buddy, come on. Give me your soul. Come on. I want some soul. Give me your soul. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Hey guys, today we're just gonna go ahead and go right on and we're doing piggy theories now. What is this creep crap? But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be playing while I talk, which is gonna be hard. I mean, I've done it before, so what's the worst thing that could possibly happen? Oh my god. Okay, anyways. So you know how Mr. P caught the infection, right? So, but if Mr. P only tested it on the piggy family, how did it get out to everyone else? He only tested it on the piggy family, which is where Mr. Stitchy comes in, where I think... He got everyone else infected, and he and the eye of insolence is like basically his job. He just once he found out that there was a um, a potion to infect others with, he just went ahead and just tried to destroy the world. <clears throat> Don't run for run for that to anything else that's happening in our lives right now. Anyways, yeah, he just tried to destroy the world with the piggy virus. So now, so yeah, we're at the part where where we just get the dove port in book two. But Mr. Stitchy is a uh, is part of something. He wasn't just added to the game for just an event. I I'm thinking he has something to do in a future book two. Or maybe even a book three. Because, like, after the infection, what are they going to do about the Eye of Insolence? So, the, so, after we, so, we figured out that Mr. Stitchy's evil. So now, yeah, the, oh gosh. We now know that Mr. Stitchy is the thing that got everything infected. Like, everything was just normal, and we've only been the, piggy family infected but no there's a whole buttload of people infected and how because mr stitchy figured out that there was a potion to infect others with so after so after he attempted to you know infect everyone there were some survivors and yeah there's just there's that the eye of insolence however well the eye of insolence kind of resembles an insane asylum kind of like someone's going insane and starts seeing eyes everywhere so mr stitchy found out about this and and used the eyes of insolence to like help them um infect others like make people go insane and then and then he'd dress up like some like sh like some weird shady um backyard back back alley salesman and and they're and he's like, so you're going insane. Try this on for size. And then yeah, they just get infected. Thanks to Mr. Stitchy's stupidness. Also, how come the sword shows me? Whatever. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, anyways, yeah, Mr. Stitchy basically caused the entire infection. Miss, we don't only. We would have only had three piggies to deal with in the entire book. But no, Mr. Stitchy just had to make it harder. The story would have been a lot shorter if if it wasn't for Mr. Stitchy. But yeah, basically Mr. Stitchy caused this all to happen. So, everything you see, blame the Stitch Man. But, I have a question that everyone's been wanting to know for a in a lifetime. Who is Mr. Stitchy? Well, well, he's obviously a teddy bear, so if I were to guess, he'd pro he's probably the teddy bear from the, from the Peppa Pig show, if I were to guess. Because, he, because, either way, um, Peppa has a stuffy. So yeah, she, so, she probably got too old for Mr. Stitchy and just left, left, left him. So now he, now he's alone and he's become all evil and weird and stuff. So now he's trying to kill everyone. 
and just end the world and make everyone feel the pain that he felt. So it's basically like a karma thing. I don't know why, but yes, yeah, basically just karma thing. But yeah, so yeah, Mr. Stitchy caused the infection. He is a teddy bear that Peppa Pig owned, or Penny Pig. Copyright sucks. And then yeah, so that's that's kind of like. The first thing of the you know, theories, but I got another theory on uh, what was it? <laughs> My mind is just not awake today because, like, while recording this video, it is only 10 a.m. or where I am, 10 in the morning. <coughs> Sorry, I've been coughing a lot asthma gets in your way but yeah anyways pretty much that's it <laughs> I, I can't my mind just not in it today but oh yeah I, yeah I remember it why would they leave George behind when they were going to go testing because I mean there was no babysitter and I mean like there's no baby there's just no babysitter what if they knew what like what if What if they could time travel? What if the true, what if the true meaning of the of them just leaving George behind is because they didn't want they didn't want to get him infected? What if they time traveled forward in time to see what would actually happen if George if George went? He would become infected. So so they figured out that if George came, he would get he would get the potion and become infected. So they just decide to leave George behind, no babysitter, because they know he he has enough courage to escape. Which is stupid about that last part, because I mean, look at him in the show. Name one thing he does besides crying that shows courage. One thing. That's right. Nothing. He's just a little wimp. But anyways, yeah, point is, time travel found out that George was going to become infected if they, if he went with them to test the potion so yeah what what have I become ah what the heck Ugh, okay. but yeah that's pretty much it time travel Mr. Stitchy's evil because Penny right here left them behind. Little brat. But yeah, it's all a part of growing up. I mean, I mean, if you were stuffy and and someone out were you, would you just try to destroy the world so everyone in the world would feel what it would be like to be you? I don't think so. Because I mean, that just be messed up, dude. What kind of person does that? Donald Trump. <clears throat> yes. But yeah, pretty much the end of my theory video, I think. <laughs> Hang on, let's see if I got one more theory coming in my head. Nope. Oh yeah, I got one more, sorry. sorry. Okay, so, you know how you go with Willow to, you know, get the cure, right? But, what if it's a trick? What if... The military is actually, like, e like Willow and the military, like, plan this entire thing out. When they would join forces, they would go to the military, but, however, they would not find the cure. Instead, they'd find them themselves cornered with guns. What if it was a whole plan to, to, get, to give karma to that one police officer, a.k.a. you, just because you arrested her. That, that's just stupid. Also, when she said you took her away from the ones you, she loved, that doesn't make any sense. Sure, sure they, sure, they took away your parents, but that was a while ago. 
when we were both still kids. And then, and then we didn't even take William to, we only took the parents. So, what, so she just basically hates our guts from the start. I don't know why. But yeah. Also, one last quick theory. What if you're all just imagining this? What if you actually died? Which explains the blood on the word piggy in the start of the game. But yeah, what if this is all just a dream? You see what would happen if you would have survived the infection. But no, you died because blood on the words. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me go crazy. Don't see me creep craft. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Be sure to like and subscribe too. I don't know if I already said that. Sorry, I accidentally stopped recording for a minute. Yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Remember, this is currently as recording this. It is June 18th, 2021. You only have two more days to comment. Random things to put in my Roblox Studio game. No one comments, that will just make the worst game ever. Nothing. Just kidding, I'll try to make something. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and peace out. Yeah, I used the microphone this time.